Hello friends, let us now learn some important points about neonatal hypoglycemia. So if you see neonatal hypoglycemia, the blood glucose level or in a neonatal hypoglycemia, it is less than 40 milligrams per deciliter. And if you see the plasma glucose level, it should be less than 45 milligram per deciliter. Now, if you were asked what is the high risk neonates who are at high risk for hyponatremia, hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia will be seen in uh, small for dead babies. It will be seen in preterm neonates. It will be seen in intrauterine growth retardation. And it is common in infant of diabetic mother. The hypoglycemia can occur. It is also seen in neonatal sepsis and it is seen in neonatal hypothermia also okay and it is also seen in large fur dead neonates okay these are important risk factors so for all these high risk infants we should monitor regular blood glucose monitoring blood glucose should be monitored regularly at regular intervals that is at 2 hours 6 hours 12 hours 24 hours 48 hours and 72 hours of life we will have to monitor regular blood glucose levels so if you see the clinical features in the hypoglycemia the baby will develop jitterness more than tremors so these are the most common symptoms and then the baby will develop neonatal seizures may be seen cyanosis is seen apnea may be seen in the baby you can see the baby may develop lethargy poor feeding and also increased sweating is seen in the baby then how are you going to treat this in this uh, a condition treatment is dependent upon the symptoms whether the baby is symptomatic or asymptomatic if the baby is asymptomatic symptomatic, then you should give IV 10% dextrose is given at 2 milliliters per kg start bolus and then you should continue give continuously IV fluids should be given to the baby and this should be given at the rate of 6 milligrams per kg per minute and then you should give you should then monitor the blood glucose and based on this you you should titrate the IVF okay this is this is IV fluid should be you should give uh, continue IV fluids that is IV glucose 6 milligrams per kg per minute should be given next next if the baby is asymptomatic then you should give then you should see the value if the baby is less than 20 milligrams if the blood glucose levels if the blood glucose levels are less than 20 milligram per deciliter then you should uh, give IV dextrose followed by IV fluids are given or if the baby's blood glucose level is 20 to 40 milligram per deciliter then you should offer the feed to the baby and after feeding you should recheck the blood glucose level this blood glucose level should be rechecked after half an hour to one hour and now if the blood look after rechecking now the if you see that the blood glucose is low then you should treat has symptomatic dose but if the blood glucose level is normal then you should continue frequent feeding so this is about the hypoglycemia thank you